everybody, it's me, it's Vicki, uh, LV Pink Peacock, one half of Katie and Vicki here doing an unboxing by myself today. Um, I am part of a group of people that decided to do a holiday reseller box swap, and my, uh, this was Courtney, Common Tags is the name of her channel, uh, we that she decided to put this together for us, and... I'm kind of excited to see what's in the box. So basically we had to send one another about five or six pounds of clothing or shoes or whatever, uh, picked from our area, certain uh, price limitations and meant for resale for the other person and just kind of to see what, we're, what we'd find. Um, Courtney is a reseller that sells full time on Poshmark. She lives in California and she happens to be in uh, the area right where they just had those horrible uh, fires. So she was actually, under evacuation in her area and uh, and wrote it out. So thankfully she's okay. Uh, she's a sweet reseller. I actually met her at eBay Open just this past summer and I've been following her on Instagram and things like that for a while. So I'm kind of excited to see what's in the box. She is doing an unboxing on her channel today of the box that I sent to her. So you should definitely go to her channel which is linked below uh, and check out that unboxing as well as a lot of her other videos. As I said, she's a full-time Poshmark seller, and I don't sell on Poshmark at all, so it was challenging for me to try and find things that I thought would be interesting for her to put in her closet, because it's hard to know to shop for other people. I buy really different things, so I wasn't really sure, but I hope I did okay. Anyway, I think she felt the same for me. So here we go. So I've got this box here, and I did open it just uh, so I wasn't cutting into it on camera, but I have not taken anything out yet. And right on top, uh, so this is, hey Vicki, thank you for joining Common Tag's first annual holiday reseller swap box. This box swap was created to be a fun way to connect with other sellers. Some I know and many I don't know. These boxes are supposed to be a fun way to connect during a festive time of the year. In your box, you'll receive approximately five pounds of clothing for you to keep, give away, or resell. I hope you enjoy the variety of brands, items, sizes, and seasons. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we've got in here. Uh, she said, I don't know much about vintage. I can't really give you great comps because I tried to pick up vintage pieces for you. Also, I'm not really sure if these are all vintage. So I think it's really cute. And uh, a little Christmas card in here as well. And it just says thank you. It's really cute. And happy holidays to Katie and I. All right, so let's see what's in here. It's blue and glittery and shiny and definitely vintage. I would say it's made in the USA. So this is the tag. It's a Frigiani, Frigiani. Um, it's this semi sheer, very disco. I would say this is like late seventies vintage for sure. It's got this little bow. This is really cute. I would probably probably sell this for like 30, 35 bucks. This would actually look really nice with, um, you know, a nice pair of black tight uh, pants or something like that, like cigarette style pants. Uh, let's see. Another vintage item. This is, the brand is Maggie London, which is a brand that still exists, but this is a, this is a tiny size four silk dress. That's an older Maggie London tag. I'd say this one's probably 80s, maybe 90s. It's a cute little faux wrap silk dress. Um, I'd say I probably sell this for around $30 or so. It's tiny, but it's pretty colors. I like it, I like it. So far so good, Courtney, these are vintage. Uh, let's see. Oh, fancy. Um, I don't think that this one's necessarily too vintage. It might be. This one's probably maybe 90s or early 2000s vintage. It is, this looks like, my lighting's a little tough in here, but this looks like maybe a chocolate brown or a deep burgundy with uh, gold. And it has sequins, so who doesn't love sequins? Uh, it's just a fitted velvet, a Christmas dress. This is real cute. This is the tag on it. It's lined. It's actually very well made. I have not looked up this brand. I'm not that familiar with it, uh, but it looks like it's probably vintage. I'll take a look at the brand and see if it's, if it matters much at all, but it's well made. Again, another dress I'd probably sell for $30, $40 or so. It's car I mean, it's something you could wear now. It doesn't, it's not extremely dated. 
So it's one of those uh, kind of tough to tell brands. So this is California Crush. I have sold this brand before. This is vintage, actually. Um, this is kind of a little bit of a Hawaiian, it looks like a little tapa print on it. And this is vintage 80s, maybe early 90s. It's just a rayon, a little bit of a Hawaiian motif to it. And it's in rayon. This is cute too. It's in a black and red. Another one of those, probably $25, $30 prints. Wow, there's more in here than it looks like. Let's see. Ooh, this is a good one actually. A manual Angaro uh, made in Paris. That is actually a um, couture brand. It's a brand that is still around, but this is a real old tag on it, unless it's just made to look old. I'll have to do a little research. The fabric feels to me like it's newer. I can't tell by the tag, but it has this retro uh, collar. It's got like a long tab collar, like a 70s tab collar. Take a look at that there. And I'm looking at this a little bit. Oh, nope, it's definitely vintage. It's not newer. You can tell by this tag here. So it says commercially dry clean, cool iron. Yeah, this is actually vintage. I'm gonna look this up uh, and check out the tags on this one. So this looks to me like a 70s. If you look at these collars, these longer pointed collars, that's like those disco collars. So it's pretty cool. I like this one. That might be a sleeper. Not sure what I'm gonna put that for, but if it is a uh, truly vintage Angaro, probably 40 or so. Um, okay, so we have this blazer here. This looks like a linen blend. This is kind of just a basic beige, kind of a tan brown color. And this is vintage as well. Get a close up of the tag here. Courtney, you did good. Good vintage. Um, Miss Legat. Not a brand I'm familiar with. So I'll take a look at it and see uh, what I can do with it. But it's a nice fitted, kind of like a safari color jacket. It definitely feels like a linen blend. And this is 100% bomb wall. I have no idea what that is, so that's a new word for me to look up. Um, it's just, it feels like a cotton linen blend. It's not lined, but it's a nice little fitted jacket. It's also not dated at all, so this is something that's pretty universal. I think I'll, I, again, it depends on the brand, if it's a higher end brand or if it's a comp, uh, brand I can comp out. I might put it a little higher, but without looking it up, I'm thinking around $40 or so. So far, there's nothing that I wouldn't list which is nice. Oh, something else in here. Bonnie Harris Designs. It's just a, this is a, hmm, interesting. It's just a sheer lace with the bow in the front and some little rosette details. It looks very 90s to me, but again, not a brand I'm familiar with. It's very cute though. That would look really nice under a blazer. Not under that one, but under a black one or pink or red or something. Um, probably a $30 item. It's very cute though. And let's see. This is the last item. You, you packed an awful lot into this little box, Courtney. Okay, so this is the brand. The brand name on this is Touch. Made in the USA. If you take a look at this label, that just screams 80s, right? Look at that label. Look at the, the graphic on that. So it's definitely an 80s piece. It's kind of a, a wool blazer, wool one button blazer, and it's actually, this is men's, I think. Just because of where the button is. But it could also be worn as a women's oversized, that whole oversized 80s blazer look. Um, this is really cool. It's definitely a, a wool or wool blend. It is fully lined with like an acetate lining. Probably not a, a super high-end brand, but one that was very fashionable, you know, at the time in the 80s. So 
Again, this is another one I would probably put up for about $30. It's gonna be all about how you put your keywords and how you accessorize um, to make this really work. It's not something that will probably sell on its own unless you have the right keywords. And the brand name is not what's gonna sell it. It's gonna be what I put in for keywords. So there you have it. Uh, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces in this uh, box that she got to me and a minimum price of $30 on each piece for resale. Uh, some as high as 40 or 50. I think you did pretty well, Courtney. I get some interesting things. I'm excited to see if you like what I sent to you. And hopefully some of our viewers or my viewers will go and watch your channel and vice versa. I think there is so much to learn from each other in this community. And um, I thought this was a lot of fun. So thanks for asking me to be a part of it. See you later.